Lehman, what do you say to people who uh, have expressed concern or distaste for Hedera's perceived centralization based on the large corporations that make up the governing council? <laughs> no, this is more decentralized than the governance. Let's talk about governance. So, you know, you can say down with big companies, I don't trust big companies. Guess what? I also do not trust a big company. I do not trust it to do the right thing. You know what else? I also don't trust a stranger that I've never met to do the right thing, who's an individual. I just don't trust anybody. And I think this is the important thing. What do you do in a world where you don't trust anybody? Well, you don't let one somebody control everything. You decentralize it. You have to have a bunch of them. So what I want to do is I want to have this governed by people who are in different countries under different governments, who are on different continents, and that I know who they are, and I know they care about their reputation, and I know uh, that they are hard to bribe because they're a Fortune 500 company or one of the top 10 universities in the world. This is what I want, but not just that. I don't just want to be decentralized that way and decentralized in time where they have term limits. What I want is for transparency as well. So I want to know something about the people running something. I want there to be more than one person. I want there to be a lot of them. We have 21 council members right now on every continent on the globe except Antarctica. Maybe we'll even get that. We have diverse interests among our council members. If you were to pick just one council member, do I trust them? No, I don't trust any stranger, but I know who they are. I know they've been around for a while. They're probably not gonna do incredibly stupid things. They're probably gonna act in their own interest, which is why I don't trust them. If I meet some random stranger, well, I don't trust them either. What I would like is to be able to see how they do their deliberations. And so what we do is we publish all the minutes of all the meetings of the council. And so you can see who are the council members from all around the world with different interests. They're in different industries. They're different backgrounds. There's companies and schools, universities, different kinds of things, but you know who they are. You can read the minutes. You can see how they're discussing it. What I would feel a lot less comfortable with is if a dozen guys in China controlled all the hashing power and made the real decisions, or if everyone holding a coin can, has one vote and the whales, who I don't even know who they are, who hold all the coins and pull the strings from behind the scenes are controlling it. I would be very uneasy with that because I don't get minutes from every time they meet and discuss these things. And I don't know who they are and they don't necessarily have a reputation that they're really interested in protecting. If you give them a million dollars, maybe they're willing to lose their reputation. This is not as good decentralized governance. It's really centralization. You can say, hey, anyone on earth can contribute to our code base. But what ends up happening over time for most systems is that you end up with a handful of people with the power. This is every system ends up that way or one person with the power. Every system ends up with that. So what you do is you say, we want checks and balances. We want this group that is controlling it to be a group that is known, that is decentralized, meaning around the world under different governments in case governments try to intervene, that are um, publishing their minutes of what they're doing that are big enough that it's hard to bribe them. This is what you want for true transparency of governance. And I think this is incredibly important and you've got to bake it in at the ground level when you first build your system. It becomes very hard to retroactively add good governance like this, trustworthy governance. That's what's important. So before we move on, Lehman, I'm going to ask you to comment just a little bit further, making the point that anonymity is incompatible with, trans with transparency, especially when it comes to governance tokens. Yeah, so those two words are opposites. Transparency means being able to see and anonymity means not being able to see them. Uh, but it's important. You want anonymity in the things you do in your private life. But if something that is valuable and important and, and has a lot of power is being governed by people, I don't want anonymity by the governors. We want transparency for the governors. Uh, I live in a country where the political system is, we know who runs it. It isn't a king making decisions in a, in a private chamber. It isn't even a small cabal of people that I don't know who they are that are doing it. It's these officials that we know who they are and that they act, three branches of government act as checks and balances on each other. And you can go to C-SPAN and watch them debating. And this is important. And it's still a bad system, but it's better than any other system I can think of. Um, and people have said, you know, that democracy is the worst form of government um, other than all the others. <laughs> That's a, a joke that people have made. 
something similar goes on here. I'd like to have, you know, perfect human beings that I can trust and everybody who runs this thing I is 100% trustworthy. But in the real world, the best you can do is good checks and balances with transparency. I kept talking about the reputation mattering. Well, that wouldn't matter if you didn't have transparency, but with transparency, then it does matter. They couldn't raise the price of a transaction without you knowing they did it. That's what we're talking about. And they care about their reputations and there's total transparency on what's going on. This is critical. Yeah, and I'll just make the further point that if there are governance tokens that are being used in the governance model of any given platform, and the more governance tokens you hold, the more weight you your vote has, and anonymous people can buy governance tokens, then it is impossible to prevent consolidation of those tokens into the hands of a few. Because even if limits were put on to any individual and how many governance tokens they can buy, you can anonymously buy tokens, you can consolidate, you know, one, one, one person can anonymously go buy as many governance tokens as they can afford and you you just can't control the consolidation of of the power and so anonymity in in that sense uh is is counter to both being decentralized and as well as providing transparency into who's actually governing the platform true you wouldn't want to be governed by the whales especially if you don't know who the whales are and they they don't publish anything about what they're doing and there's no transparency no. So, so I think it is very important that you have a transparent and trustworthy governance system. And do I trust any of our council members? Do I trust any human being on earth? Well, no, but I trust them to keep tabs on each other and to have checks and balances on each other. And that's where you build trust.